Now, it doesn't make a lot of sense to try to illustrate a walking motion with only one leg. So let's go ahead and add another leg. I'll close and return out of motion. And I don't need this line anymore, so I'll just identify and hit delete. I also don't need this ground link, so I'm going to identify the ground link and also hit delete on that link. And now I'm going to the application button, new, and I'd like to create an assembly of the active model. And I'll take the default metric template and I'll save changes to the following document. Yes. Now let's just review what I've done here. I've created a brand new assembly and inside that assembly is this four bar straight line single leg mechanism I've been working on. And now to add another leg I'll go out here to the parts library and I'll go out to my folder wherever it is in the class files. You'll see my straight line four bar and that's the assembly we've been working on. I'm just going to drag in that top level assembly again. So it's the same thing twice. And I don't want to constrain anything yet. So I'll just hit select to clear that. Now to add motion to sub assemblies, we need to convert these. I'm going to go up to the first assembly, right mouse click. When I say convert, I just want to make these adjustable. I want to convert them to adjustable assemblies. And you'll see it adds this little blue arrow right here. And so I'll go to my second one, right mouse click, and modify, change to adjustable assemblies. So now both my sub assemblies are adjustable. And I'm going to hit the save button so you can understand a little better where we are. I'm still in my class files, four bar straight line. And I'm going to call this two legs. And let's add a motor on each of these cranks and I'll just zoom in to see those a little better. Here's my first crank. Touch on that. And in that direction, hit finish. I'll add another motor on this crank in that direction. Hit finish. And I'll fit the view. And let's hit play. Now, obviously these legs are moving in sequence and that's not what we want. So let's go ahead and fix that so these are running alternate to each other. To do that I'll just hit select to clear and I'll save my animation. What I'd like to do is go to drag component and let's just go to either one of these maybe on the second one I'll pick on this first link here and I'll zoom in and I'd like to drag around this point right here that center and the angle I'm going to change that to 180 so it's in the opposite direction. And let's go with that. Select that and I'll fit. Now if I go back to my motor, simulate motor, hit play, we'll see they're running at opposites.